Hello, my fellow schemers. Welcome to sketchbook number six. Ah, ah, ah. How about six? <laughs> six is good. Hi, this is Marcy from Sketchbook Scheming. I am so excited to tour my sixth sketchbook with you. This took me three months to fill, and it marks the end of my first year and a half of trying this art hobby out. During the three months of this sketchbook, I put out a video every week. So if you're interested in the process of my making any of this art, you could check that out. I bought some brushes put out by Sarah Burns Studio, and I did an unboxing and painted these sheep in Ireland. I loved having the new brushes. It really felt like such an asset to trying to get the little grass lines and things like that. And I love these sheep. I made this guy talk, which was fun. I did that a few times in this sketchbook. Top of the morning. Beatles. This was inspired by a night out, seeing a live band, and the restaurant we went to had this octopus decor, so I united the two in this illustration. It was a lot of fun cutting this out and arranging the men to fit among the tentacles. And then this one was fun. I actually had kind of a low motivation day. I couldn't think of anything that I wanted to sketch. So I looked through some old photos of a few different road trips we took to the West. And I really liked working in this tiny format to just try to capture the large shapes and then put a little detail over with colored pencil. This one was inspired by this artist put out some prompts and I randomly chose three of them and came up with these foxes. How you doing? This was fun to try, but I didn't really pull it off. This was so much fun. My husband and I had a fire in the backyard, we made s'mores, and the point was to try to make some charcoal. And I pulled it off. I had a very small amount of usable charcoal, and I did these sketches outside, very sloppy, and then I sprayed them to death with the sealer and put them into my sketchbook. I do have some charcoal pieces left over, and I've toyed with the idea of making black oil paint. Some random views from Map Crunch, trying to capture kind of the essence of a place quickly. Doodles. I started the 30 Day Sketchbook Project by Minnie Small. I have been getting so much inspiration from her book. I still have more to go through. I toured this separately, so I'll just flip here. And then this was using a gel plate for the first time. I had so much fun. I struggled a lot, but then ultimately really liked this piece that came out of it, as well as these from a homemade stencil. And I just taped everything in. More of Mini Small's lessons.
I like this technique using a brush pen to get down the lines quickly and then adding a little bit of colored pencil for accent. Blue and orange, so great. I think my favorite is this faceless woman here. This was for Minnie Small as well, doing some lettering, some doodling. <laughs> I like this too, highlighters with some brush pens. Minnie Small. Doodles, really like this too. I like this mushroom. This was fun. I watched a video by this channel and they had four artists doing different drawings inspired by a classic painting. This was a very quick sketch of kind of a vision that I had, but I develop it into a more finished piece in a bit. This was doodling in a car with references from the movie Magnolia, but this one for Juliana Moore, a gorgeous woman. I hated it so much, I just put that over it. But otherwise, I can kind of recognize some of them. That is supposed to be Tom Cruise, <laughs> fail. Philip Seymour Hoffman, a little bit, a little bit. The same director as Magnolia, which that's about my favorite movie of all time. He also has an, another awesome movie, but it's not for the faint of heart. It's called Boogie Nights. And then this was a mini smalls lesson to do some thumbnails. This was a doodle in the car of the Syracuse mascot, Otto. Wow! I feel good. I knew that I would not. This was difficult. I pulled up nine random prompts of things to draw and I did it entirely from my head while in a car. Oof, so the red in the background is my first attempt. <laughs> and then later I looked at references and tried to do a little better. So it was kind of a fun way to fill the spread. This was inspired by a song and the prompt was to create an album cover. So I did Whispering Pines with a portrait of Richard Manuel. This was for Jess Carp's Patreon. I glued on these pine trees that I painted separately. I really love how this came out. Doodle, doodle. Okay, here's the finished illustration of the mermaid that I told you about. This was a lot of fun making the coral as an interactive element. And the idea is that a mermaid sketched the coral reef and then she's holding up her sketchbook in front of the reef as I've seen so many artists do when they create outdoors. And then here's the finished spread I made from the trip to a Syracuse basketball game. Some more doodles while I was watching videos. This was from my coffee cup. Oh my goodness, it's right here. That's just a coincidence, but it has coffee in it. I'll be careful. And I just sketched it right in my lap, sitting on my chair. Some more doodles. I really like some of these. It's rough. I'm trying to get more used to sketching right in with pen rather than make pencils. And this one, to be fair, I did try to stylize, but these two I tried to make representative. You might be able to guess who this is based on what he's holding, and it does have a tiny bit of a likeness, but I challenge anyone on the internet to identify either of these two people, and if you correctly identify them, I will send you some stickers anywhere in the world. I wanted to make some cartoony chickens 
mini small. And then this was Sketchbook Revival. I did a whole tour of that, so I'll just flip through here. Doodle. I like this spread. I think I'm getting a little better at the quick sketching without being all uptight about it. This was entirely from my imagination, and I think it does look like a creature. Dwayne Allman playing guitar. Back to Sketchbook Revival. And then some odds and ends. This was from Sarah Burns's brushes. And then I like to save some of my sketches. Sometimes I put them right in the spread, and other times I just kind of tuck them in the back or in the pocket. So I had so much fun with this one. I did feel like I entered maybe a low motivation phase now that it's been a year and a half of continually creating with passion. But I also feel very encouraged that I picked up this new technique to doodle or go right in with pen and have some distortion or some stylization. I feel like I'm still learning all the time and I'm still getting so much inner joy and satisfaction from creating. So I thank you so much for giving this a watch. Please give it a like and let me know if any of the spreads kind of grabbed your attention and what you thought about any of it. Take care and I will see you in the next video.